Hey guys, this is Fuberduge, and this is part 7 of 7. This is the Fall of Cybertron Grimlock vs. Bruticus review. Bruticus all assembled together. So as you can see, I got them all in their limb modes, respectively. And if you would want to see um, any of their individual reviews, then I'll put links in the description below. And also I'll put Grimlock's review in there if you want to see that too. So, to assemble these guys first. As you can see, he's got, or um, Onslaught here, has two pegs right here, and this just goes right here, actually I think I got this on the wrong side, this goes in here, you can swap them if you really want to, but this goes onto here, and there you see he's starting to get really big, so I'll have to raise my camera here, so, coming up here, as you can see, Bruticus has two other pegs right there. So, taking Vortex here, this just pegs on like so, and this pegs on like so. And there is Fall of Cybertron Bruticus people. Sorry, I'm trying to adjust my camera so I don't have all the outside stuff coming in. So, as you can see, he is pretty large. So, for a comparison, just so you can kind of see, here is Armada Starscream. So, as you can see, he's kind of tall. He's not, like, too terribly big, but he's a pretty decent combiner size. So, taking off him. Here he is next to Grimlock in his robot mode. So yeah, that doesn't work very well. So taking off Grimlock, I'm going to do a mo piece of movie magic here for you. And we're back. So, there is Bruticus, who doesn't, or not Bruticus, Grimlock, who doesn't like to stand. There we go. So yeah, that's a bit of a better size, and so you can have a little battle going on on your display case or whatever you want to do. So there is Grimlock and Bruticus together. So I'll take Grimlock here, off here, to get some more important size comparisons. Here he is with my G1 Devastator who doesn't want to stand with the upgrades. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. There we go. There he is with my Devastator and upgrade. So, he's slightly shorter, but I still think that's a pretty good scale. Bruticus was always supposed to be a bit chunkier than Devastator anyway. So I think that works fairly well. Just taking out Devastator. And finally, here he is next to the Combiner Wars Superion. They're like almost the same height. Superion's a bit larger, and actually, mass-wise, he's quite a bit bigger. So, yeah, I have to say that Hasbro has upped their game quite a bit with this Combiner War series. So anyway, taking off Superion. So now we can go over articulation, and some of these pieces are coming apart. So anyway, his head does rotate, sort of. It's kind of tricky. These do go in and out. They do rotate at the shoulder. Kind of an elbow joint, nothing at the wrist. Same over here. This does rotate here, this does kind of bend. It's it's okay. Nothing at the waist. This comes forward sort of, and then it comes back up here. It's very interesting how that works. He does bend at the knee, and he can bend backwards at the knee. Not so much with him. So yeah, this one's a lot more tight, and it does rotate at the knee as well. So that's it for articulation. So now, if I can get him to stay, we can get into the super ultra mega weapon or whatever it's called. So what we want to do is take this thing off of his back. So, and then I have all his weapons down here. So you take this and then, not that piece, this piece actually tabs in right here. Like that. And then this piece kind of shares that and then it kind of interestingly tabs into this here so you gotta just push this all the way down so everything locks into place so I think that's kind of cool and then you take this piece and then you just put this right here 
depending on how you want to do this. This goes here, and then you take this, and you attach this like so. And then you have his super ultra mega weapon thing. Yeah, it's kind of dumb, but if you really want to, taking this here, he can hold it just like so. So beware of the mega weapon. And this, this is, see, it doesn't work very well because this back piece for Bruticus here tabs all these pieces together and he's just kind of flimsy now. So I'm just going to take this apart real quick. All right, so now that we got this, I'm just going to re-peg this onto the back just so I don't leave everything asunder. It is really hard to get this back on once you've untabbed it. So putting this back on like that, putting him back there, that's going to be it for the weapons. Actually, technically has one more. If you move this apart, what he did in the video game was he sliced people with his propeller. So you can do that. So I think that's kind of cool. So that is e about it for the review, actually, I think. Finally, this is over with. I'm kind of glad. So this is the Fall of Cybertron Platinum Edition Grimlock vs. Bruticus. And oh, I might as well get Grimlock in here. Grimlock versus Bruticus. So if you want this set, I'll put a link in the description below. And if you missed any of the reviews, as I said before, I'll put them in the link in the description as well. Also, I invite you, if you enjoyed this review, please like, share, and I'd invite you to subscribe to my channel. And if you want to see other Transformers reviews, I'd also invite you to search my channel and look up some of those if you really want to see some of them. And also, I have other stop motion vids that if you want to see them, you can. Feel free to do so. So this is Fuber Dude saying, keep playing, guys.